Okay, so here here it is. There's no way Don McGann should go testify. For sure exert executive privilege and assert attorney-client privilege. Number one, what the president does and stuff he says in office is privileged. It has to be so the president can do his job and everybody knows it's common knowledge that if everything you say is going to come out publicly, you won't be able to effectively do your job. If we wanted to go into deeper, that we, in deeper into that, we can, but that's absolutely well understood and well, well established. Number two, this is his attorney. So not only is it supposed to be privileged and confidential with everybody, well, maybe not everybody in the White House, but most people in the White House, certainly your employees, um, but with your attorney even more so because now you have attorney-client privilege involved in these are conversations between White House counsel and the president. How is attorney-client privilege not apply here? Maybe Trump waived it by um, giving giving it out, out to Mueller, but maybe he didn't either. That's not it. But so those are the two best reasons, and it's like, we can't establish this precedent where the the um, president, everything you do, it ends up becoming public if he doesn't co control Congress and a partisan group like the Dems get in there and start subpoenaing everybody. Boom! Somebody 